how do options and upgrades work with builders? That's what we're gonna talk about today. My name is Josh Rogers. If this is the first video that you're seeing of mine, I have a lot more videos for you to, work, to watch. Nobody has more videos than I do in St. Johns County. And it's because we love giving you value content, boots on the ground kind of perspective. Because a lot of families that we're, we are helping and working for are all over the country that are moving to St. Johns County specifically. And so I love putting out this stuff for you. And, and hey, why do I do it? My hope is you'll find enough value and be able to connect and relate with us that you'll just reach out to us. Uh, send us a text, that's how most families reach out to us. They'll either call or text us and we'll kind of get the conversation started to help you and your search. We'll find out what your goals are, what uh, is most important to you, and then put together a game plan, strategies, options to show you everything that you have available to choose from here in St. Johns County to make sure you don't make a mistake or maybe there's a community that you don't know about yet that's a better fit for what you have in mind. So send us a quick text. We're here for you, real people that actually care and have the experience to back it up. So let's connect. Um, the way options work. So I'm in Silver Landing specifically, and this is the builder's included feature sheet. The reason they have this is because when you walk through the model homes, a large majority of the items you see in the model do not come standard, which means when you see the base price on the builder sheets, that base price includes certain items. But when you walk through the model home, they've really used the model to give you a glimpse of what's possible. Some model homes have $100,000 or more worth of upgrades. So if you're walking through the model and you're getting really excited, that's not what gets you um, your home with the base price. So it's really important to jump into the included feature sheet. Some builders have really nice standard features that you don't have to pay extra for. But when it's time to go to the design center appointment and begin to choose your selections, there's upgrades galore that you could spend a small fortune on and, and really, really change the price of your house. I, we, we just helped a family great family and they built a gorgeous home. But at the design center, guess how much they spent? $200,000 in upgraded options. And so generally speaking in silver landing right now, buyers are paying around 20% of the base price in options and upgrades. So if the home is base price is 600,000, just to spitball some numbers for you right now, if the base price is 600,000, then generally speaking at the design center, they're spending an additional $120,000 in options and upgrades. Now, that's just kind of like on average. If, if you have easy tastes, maybe you spend 50 grand in op options, upgrades. If you have expensive tastes, maybe it's gonna be more. But whenever you're budgeting the process of buying a new home, you really need to factor in how much you're gonna spend at the design center. Now, pro tip, sometimes builders offer credits to the design center. So currently there's a builder that's offering a $20,000 credit at the design center. So that's like fun money you get to go spend. Um, but at the end of the day, it's important to know what comes included and then, if at all possible, if you can go visit the design center to get an idea of how much options are or what's most important to you, try to do that before you sign a contract because sometimes it's pretty painful if you are really excited about buying your home and then you go to the design center and there's sticker shock and you feel like, oh man, we're gonna break the bank just to get this house the way we want it and that can take some of the fun out of it. Another pro tip is generally speaking, uh, you'll have to give an additional deposit based on how much money you spend at the design center. And so that deposit could be a percentage of how much it is, but just know that it's not uncommon for you to have to put down more money after the design center process. Um, now there's another thing called structural options. We'll do a different video on structural options because that's different. 
Um, but that's all part of the process and how options go with builders. So I hope that helps. See you on the next video.